this Ford Focus here is going to go on a little day trip into this concrete block at 120 miles an hour. It's an extreme test that's equivalent to the worst scenario imaginable. Two cars colliding head-on whilst both travelling at 120 miles an hour. Crash Authority Euro NCAP conduct tests at up to 40 miles an hour. We're going three times faster. Partly because modern cars can reach such speed, and partly because we're curious as to what would happen if a car was exposed to such enormous forces. At 120 miles an hour, our experts say that the deformation will be so great they're not prepared to use their expensive traditional crash test dummies. So as a result, we've got to use these guys. These are shop front mannequins. These will hopefully give an idea of what it might be like for a human to experience a head-on 120 mile an hour incident. These are yours, mate. There you go, love. As the car was wheeled into position, I had nothing else to do but watch on and wait. Even in a controlled environment, the thought of such an impact sent shivers down my spine. It's around about this time that I get quite nervous. It's... The sound of an accident is just catastrophic, but these guys have never actually tested a car this fast. So this is like proper unknown territory. I'm going to go and find a really safe place to sit down and admire the view. A crash like this takes some serious engineering. The car will be propelled towards the wall by a winch with 15,000 pounds feet of torque. That's the equivalent of 16 Bugatti Veyrons. With forces that great, attention to detail is vital. One loose nut and we could be sending a 120 mile an hour focus into the middle of Nuneaton. Brace yourselves, these images are disturbing. Sensitive viewers and those with a dicky ticker might want to look away now. This is it. Oh my God! Oh my God! Listen to the echo. The focus is obliterated on impact. Only the rear end escapes total destruction. And the passengers... Don't ask. God, the hairs on the back of my neck are sharp as nails. The car decelerates from 120 miles an hour to zero in 68 milliseconds, with its occupants experiencing peaks of 400 G. The front end hits the wall with such force that the back end rises up 90 degrees and the car is slam dunked down onto its nose. Crash test expert Tony Payne talked me through the scale of this wreckage. Absolutely mauled. Yes, you've got the vehicle crushed nearly all the way back to the B-pillar. You can see here, for an occupant in there, oh absolutely my. no survival space at all. My there's the rear seat, and there's the steering wheel there, and literally it's been compressed between the front and rear seat down to that distance. Goodness me. It's, it's almost turned into a piece of modern art. And if we go right round into the car itself, Front seat's right seats, in there, uh, that's the instrumentation panel, and the person's literally in that area there. I mean, I know it's, it's, all, it's all not real, but no, it's still no. mighty haunting. It is an extreme scenario, but modern family hatchbacks can reach the speeds we saw today. Maybe it'll make you think twice the next time you want to put your foot down. <laughs>